Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and what's a video without some beeping in the background? Um, I do have my windows open so if you hear any ruckus outside, that's what it is. So this is a shoe haul video also mixed in with a variety of a couple other things that I found at the thrift stores over the past couple of weeks. Um, this, <laughs> this shoe haul I've been holding off on these shoes for a really long time. Um, I have two really big boxes, two smaller boxes, a bag, and then some loose right here. I did get my nails done, so here they are. We are now into the fall colors, so I'm trying to get myself into darker colors. So, um, I have so much to show you guys, so let's just get started. If you're interested in anything, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Information's in the description box. Make sure you check that sold list that is always pinned in the comments. First comment, it'll always be there. Please check that out before you email me so you know if your items that you want are sold or not. It just helps with the amount of emails I get and being able to get back to everyone in a timely manner. So. Um, let's get started with some of the non-shoe related items and I do need your help identifying two designer items if they are real or if they are fake. So let's start with those first. Okay, so the first item is a Burberry umbrella. So here it is. Um, I found it at Goodwill. There's the tip. I figured it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice um, material. Uh, the only tag inside says 100% nylon made in China, which is, oops, which is right here. And then the handle looks like this and it has that. Which I know vintage Burberry did call it Burberry's. So, and this is metal, this plate. So I just wanted your opinion to see if it is real or fake. Maybe you guys know, maybe you guys have one. Um, the button, like there's no like, that's a little worn. There's no other identifying marks that say Burberry except for that plate right there. So let me know what you guys think. It's a pretty large umbrella. Um, let me know. Okay, so now the next designer piece. So here, this is a Fendi eyeglass case. It is, it does appear to be real leather. I, I mean, I do think it's real because it comes with all this stuff, but this stuff can be faked, you know. There's the inside. And by the looks of it, it's brand new. So here's the Fendi, like, little cloth. Fendi certificate of authentication, whatever, authentication, with the little hologram. So, you know, I don't know. I did not pay a lot for this, so that's what's kind of making me a little leery. You know, it smells nice. So what do you guys think? Both of these items are for sale. So, um, I do think this is real. I'm not so sure about the umbrella. Um, so I will put a price on the screen um, for this because I'm really not sure yet. And um, I don't know about the umbrella. If someone wants to make me an offer, email me and we'll talk about it. Okay, next I found this Henry Bendel glass little container. I don't know what else to call it. And it has sea glass in it. Um, I, I don't think the sea glass came with it. I think someone just put it in there, but I thought it was really cute. 
If you don't want the sea glass, I can take it out. But I just thought this was really cute to have on your dresser, maybe put some cotton balls in it or even candy. All glass, Henry Bendel, he's no longer in business, okay? Um, and we'll do, we'll do 20 bucks on this, okay? Now I have a few, um, I have two jewelry cases. This is kind of like a um, Lucite. It's kind of got that brownish tint to it. Always. Really nice condition. And then the inside, actually the front has just a little bit of scratching. See right there. And the inside looks like that. Really nice and clean. Rings, earrings, you know, necklaces, bracelets, whatever. It's kind of small. Palm in my hand. Really cute, I thought. We'll do $10. Then I have this cute ring box for all my Asian inspired style lovers. Again, really excellent condition. It has these little faux bone pieces to latch into here to close it. And there's the inside, really clean, really nice. And we'll do 15 on this one. All right, then we have this cool blanket. Of course, I already forgot the size of it. 98 by 54 or 56, something like that. But that's the print. Okay, I think it's really cute. Nice little like Aztec style print. Really nice condition too. Um, I'm guessing it would probably fit on a twin bed um, or just as a blanket. 98 by 56 I think it was. Should I go check really quick? Let me go check. I wrote it down. 90, 98 by 52. 98 by 52. Okay and we will do um, 30 bucks on this. There's no tag on it, so I don't know the material, but it's not itchy. <laughs> okay, that's that. All right, let's get on with the shoes. So all of these shoes, let's see, I got from thrift stores, flea markets, friends, and swap.com. So swap.com is like an online thrift store, kind of like ThreadUp, and I can give you 40% off. I did this in my last shoe haul video. Um, if I'll put the link in my description box. If you click the link and if you find something, it, they have men, women, children, clothing, and shoes, and you can get anything that's over $20 and not on there new arrivals for 40% off. And when you use that link and purchase something, I get a 40% off coupon. So that's how I'm getting all these shoes, 40% off. That's a big deal, 40% off, wow. We'll get into that in a minute. First, I'll talk about shoes from the thrift store and flea markets and such. First pair, brand new in the box. Really cute suede, black suede peep toe. And how do you say that? Kula Burra by Ugg. Brand spanking new in the box. Black suede peep toe. And these are a size seven and a half. 
and they come with the Ortholite Comfort Foam insoles. So really nice. And I'm going to ask for you guys, I'll ask 35. Online, I'd probably list them closer to about 70. So there's those. Then we have some really cute fry mules. Look at these little cuties. I love them. They're like a beige, beigey taupe. They are in really nice condition. I spent $15 on them. That marker is going to suck getting off. $15 I spent and they are a size six. Really cute. I will probably, I'll ask, um, I mean, I, they're pretty, they're almost new. Maybe worn once. Um, $50. And eBay, I'll list them around 90 So that's that. Then we have these really cool, these are brand new. Converse, look at the colors on these. So I think only one yeah, only the one came with the yellow lace, so I'll probably just take that out and sell them with just the white laces. But they're brand new. Spent 10 bucks. I will ask 30 and put them online for probably 55. Converse does really well, especially new. Then we have these really cute pair of Keds. They are perfect for the fall right now. Look at how cute these are. Oh wow. They are a suede back here and like a material here. And these are new. I spent $10. And I will ask 25 for my from my subscribers and list them online for 40. Then I have these Sanook sandals. This brand does pretty well. These are brand new. Just this fuzz on them, but that's it. They are known for comfort and you put your, your foot through here and your heel here. Really cute. Um, I'll ask I'll ask 20 from you guys and probably list them around 30. Definitely a lot of fuzz on those. <laughs> All right, now let's show you guys some boots. These ones I actually just found today. I love these. So these are by Bear Traps. Okay, leather and this like really cool metallic and then you can zip them on the side and you can even zip them halfway down and wear them like a little booty like that. How cute are these? And these, they're probably not new, but they're, they're pretty close. I spent $13.99. Really cute by Bear Traps. Oh, I'm not telling you guys any sizes. Hold on. The fries were a six. These are a size eight and a half. I haven't done a shoe haul in so long, that's why. These are a 10, and these are, I don't know. An eight, all right, I'm sorry. I'll probably go back and put the sizes on the screen just so you guys aren't yelling at me in the comments. <laughs> and these are a size, Ten. 
and these are leather size 10 so I will ask um, 35 from you guys and probably list them around 50 sorry that was really bad of me okay next are these I'm, I love these I wish they were my size but they are nine and a half They are coach sneakers, coach high tops. Look at that. They're in pretty good condition, almost new. I spent $25 on them. They have the leather fronts and backs. That's just a little dirt right there. That's gone. That's just a hair. <laughs> All right, so these are really nice. E, coach, and I said nine and a half. Yep, so I will ask um, 60 from you guys and probably list these around 90. All right, that's those. All right, let's go into this box here. We have these really cute, like tapestry style sneakers from Diba. I mean, heels. They are a size eight, right? Yeah. Really cute, perfect for the fall. Pretty nice condition, just have to be cleaned up a tad on the bottom. All right, so these I will ask 20 and probably list them around 30 or so online. I don't know where to put these already. Okay, then we have these are a pair of Bali. So this is a very high end designer. Let me just tie it. Hold on. black leather little booties. Bali is a very, very high-end designer. There we go. I think from Italy. Super cute little booties. They are size eight. Yeah, made in Italy. So um, we're just gonna guess. And I'll just ask, I'll ask 50 on these and list them for probably around 90 online. Those are in really good condition too. Then we have, I have there's dog hair everywhere. I'm sorry. I'll clean these up a little bit better. <laughs> um, Dallas is actually at his first day of daycare today, doggy daycare, and um, we're going to be taking him there at least once a week to um, just, you know, get socialized, play with other dogs, and really get his energy out. Dallas has a huge energy, like, drive. He is, it's, his energy is so high, we cannot keep up with it. So, until we are in a house, which we are hoping to start looking in the new year, um, when we can have a yard and when he can go out and play and run. Right now, we don't have that. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to take him to doggy daycare for a full eight hours, at least once a week. And so he can get some playtime and some energy ran out and some running around and the whole nine. So um, that's where he is today. And the next pair are these Clark's black suede little booty heel. Again, perfect for the fall right now. Clark's. These are a size eight as well. They See, the camera makes them look so much worse than they are. They are, do not look like this in real life. They are a really nice black suede booty, size eight, and I will ask 20 bucks, um, probably like 25 or 28 online. Then we have a brand new pair of American Eagle 
heels. Obviously, it's the wrong season for us here in New York, but other places in the world, I'm sure, can use these. So I'm not going to hold off on selling them. Brand new, twenty uh, $40 price tag, size eight. Really cute. Um, I'll probably, let's see, I'll ask, how about $18 from you guys and like 25 online. We got one last pair from the friend box. And they are a brand called Patricia, and I have sold these before. They make pretty good shoes, pretty well-made shoes. The um, resale value is all right. So look at these sparkly numbers. <laughs> these are brand new. Well, they look brand new, but I think they were worn once. There's some dirt in there. Look at that heel, so cute. Little platform sandal, open toe with all the bling. This is a size eight as well. Um, I'll probably, let's see, let's do 25 for you guys and probably around 35 online. Those are cool. All right, let's put all those ones back in this box. Let's try to say it, stay a little bit organized. <laughs> okay. Now let's start with the swap.com orders. So I have probably at least three or four orders that we're gonna go through, but they're not a lot of um, shoes per order. So this is the first bag. I've literally had all this stuff for weeks, weeks. And that's not good because that's money sitting around my house that's not being made. That's being spent and not made. Oh good, so they did give an invoice because I have my swap.com up to uh, be able to show you guys what I paid for everything. But here it is. Remember to check that sold list pinned in the comments and check out the swap.com link and see if you can find anything for 40% off. So you guys are gonna laugh at me, but these are the first pair. These actually sell really well. These are by Vibram. They are those like toe water shoes or whatever. Um, they are slightly used. They are a size 40, which I guess is a, ten, a nine maybe. I think it's a, probably a nine. And I paid 11.39 for them and I should be able to sell them online for closer to 40 or $50. But if you guys are interested, I would do 30. Pretty cool, right? Next we have a pair of sandals and I paid $10.79. Now this is with the 40% off. So the, the prices you're give, I'm giving you is 40% off. So these are Teva. Teva is a pretty good brand to look out for. These are leather, brown leather sandals with a little wedge and a thong toe. I believe these to be brand new. A lot of their shoes are new, so look at the description and it will say like new. I've gotten the like new shoes and they're new, okay? <laughs> so definitely check them out. Everything is really good quality if you just um, read the descriptions. Because sometimes their pictures are only one picture and you can't really see everything. Um, but just read the descriptions and they're accurate. I've had nothing but good things from them. I even didn't get a pair of sandals and I was charged for them. I emailed them and they wrote back and I had my refund for the pair of sandals I never got within a couple days. So they're really great. So these, I told you I paid $10.79. I can probably list them around 40, I would say, and we'll do 30 for you guys. 
Uh, let's put them here. Then last pair out of this box, I should say bag, are the Teva clogs. These are not new, but they are in very good condition. They are a black leather clog with a really nice insert. I thought it said something, but it just says how to remove it. But pretty nice, pretty nice, right? Good for uh, nurses or chefs. People are on their feet all day, cashiers. Um, I said I paid $12.99 for these. I'll ask around $50, I think, online, $40 to $50. And we'll do um, $35 for you guys. All right. Next box. Finally, I can get all these boxes out of my house. <laughs> And I'll have things to list for the next couple days. This is going to be great. All right, here's my other invoice. So let's move that one over. And see what we got. And what's cool is that sometimes they actually send the original box. If the person donated the shoes in the original box, they will give that to you too. All right, so here are a pair of Stuart, White, Stuart Weitzman pumps. I only paid $5.99 for these babies. Here they are. They are like, um, like a black material. Bottoms aren't bad. Now, you have to be careful because, like this one, Stuart Weitzman is known for narrow shoes and so are um, Salvador Ferragamo. Uh, you want to stay away from size, like say 8A or 8AA. But this one, we're good because it says 7.5B. So 7.5B or 7.5M is the normal size. It's medium. Um, and then you get, you get W for wide. So these are a perfect size 7.5 black with the, the square toe, Stuart Weitzman. The heels are in really good condition, really nice. $5.99 I paid for these, and I can probably list them online for around 60, and we'll do 30 for you guys. I really like those. Next we have Allegria. I've talked about this brand before. If you find it and it's a good price, pick it up. Allegria sells. I think it actually sells better than Dansko. It's a similar style shoe. It's like that comfort clog. These are brand spanking new. Look at that. These are gonna these are gonna fly out of my eBay store if you guys don't buy it first. Black leather, sling back. They are size. 36, so that's a five. And I paid $5.99. $5.99 for these because of the size. It's a size five. But people with small feet need shoes too, don't they? So brand new, size five, Allegria's. I can probably list these online for around 60, 65. And we'll do 35 for you guys. Super good deal. Brand new. Then we have a pair of Bernie Mev. These are so cute. They're a little flat. Please don't mind that. Brown, uh, blue suede slip-on sneaker. They are brand new. I think someone might have just tried them on because I do see a little bit of dirt. So I'll clean that up. Beautiful blue suede. I paid $5.99 for these two. And we're going to ask 30 online and we'll do 20 for you guys.
Here's another pair of Allegria. Brand new. Look at these. Oh, ee. Travel to the moon and back with these babies. There's a little dirt in there, but I don't think they're worn. I don't see any scuffing at all. Really cool. I mean, the paper is still in it. So these are size, they're big, I can tell you that. I can't see the size. Forty-two, so they're a size eleven, and these ones I paid seven seventy-nine for eight dollars for brand new pair of Allegria boots. Like, are you kidding? These are probably ninety dollars online, so I'm gonna probably list them on eBay for ninety dollars and ask sixty from you guys. I mean, you guys have to check this website out. You just have to. The fall is here. You guys need new boots, new sweaters. Go find some for 40% off, and then I get 40% off. I mean, we're, we're helping out each other here. <laughs> All right, so we have two in boxes. I've talked about this brand before too, Superga, Superga, I don't know. It's Italian. Buy them if you see them in good shape and for a good price. They sell. They always sell. These are a different style. Usually they're more of like a Converse style sneaker with that rubber front like that. But these ones, oh, I almost just dropped them. These ones are super cool, brand new look. And I paid $5.99 for these two. Wait, did I slip-ons? What are these called, slip-ons? Probably slip-ons, so these are $7.79. $7.79 for brand new Superga slip-ons. You guys, these are so cute, perfect for the fall. They're a size seven. No, I'm sorry. Yes, size seven. They look bigger than that. No, they're an eight and a half. They're an eight and a half, I'm sorry. Eight and a half, gray, really nice, brand new sneakers. Um, I'm going to probably list these. Yeah, look, the tags are still in it. Um, probably list these around 60, 65 online, and we'll do 40 for you guys. Really, really nice. Comes with the box and everything. I hate that I waited so long to go through all these because I, I'm gonna have a field day listing all of these since most of them are like boots and like sneakers and stuff. All right, next, our last for this box, Mark Fisher. I love Mark Fisher. This brand ha is so underrated. I've talked about this brand before too. Really well-made shoes, really nice leathers, really good prices, and the resale value holds. So if you can find this brand for a reasonable price, pick it up. And look at these, these are brand new too. You guys, brand new. Look at these, ugh. Espadrille, cheetah, studded, clear espadrille, open toe with the leather bottom, size nine and a half. These are so cute. Look, the other one was never even taken out of the box. Look, it's still all wrapped up. I paid $7.79 for these as well. I'll probably list them on eBay for around $40, $45, $30 for you guys. And make sure you guys are subscribed because these are the subscriber prices. That's why you hear a difference in the pricing because you are my support system, you are my subscribers, you are my viewers, you are here for me, so I'm gonna be here for you and give you deals. And if they don't sell in the videos, that's why I list them online for a higher price because I'm offering you the deal because I don't have to worry about photographing, listing, paying fees, all that kind of stuff as well. So that's those. And let's move on to the big boy boxes. So 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this without stopping the video, but let's give it a shot. Oh, here's the first one. <laughs> okay. I think a human can fit inside of here. That's how big this box is. I have two of them. Oh, that's why, because they're all in shoe boxes. So there's only one, two, three, there's only five pairs of shoes in this whole box. Look. Eh. <laughs> Here's my packing list. So let's move that one over and put that one here. All right, this brand I always thought was like cheapy and you know, not a good brand. Not that it's not a good brand, but not a good reselling brand. It is. This brand new is so expensive. I never knew that. So, well not so expensive, but it's, decent to the point where you're gonna get a decent resale value out of it as well. These are Mia and these are Slingbacks. And I got these for $5.99, okay? Brand new, look. Look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, look at them. Okay, brand new in the box. And like I said, the listing on swap.com will not say new. They will say like new, but they are new. So I don't know if they're allowed to say new because then people might complain if they see one little flaw, you know, I don't know. So these are a size eight and a half and I will list them on eBay for probably around 30 and do 20 bucks for you guys. Um, Let's just put it right back in the box. Next we have, and this is their like, their box. I don't know why, I don't know why they put some in boxes and not, and some not. These are a pair of Crocs. So these I got for, um, I'm not sure, either $7.79 or $9.59, one or the other. But here they are, Crocs is another brand I've talked about before, they always sell. If you can get them for a cheap enough price, Crocs fly out of my doors. They, people love them, I particularly do not, but people love them and that's all that matters. As long as they'll, people will buy them, that's fine with me. These are not new, but they're pretty, pretty close. They are a size, nine really nice i've actually sold these before so i know they sell really nice slip-on comfort wedge um probably 35 or 40 online 25 for you guys here's another pair of mia brand new it looks like maybe someone just tried them on Really cute black sneaker with the ruching slip on. Size eight and a half. It is all faux material. Stinking cute. Um, I, yeah, they are new because look. I will ask 30 online and we'll do like 24 for you guys size now it's gonna say eight and a half or six and a half I think it's six and a half six and a half I'm sorry six and a half Okay, 24 bucks. Oh, okay, so here are the super good that I, I was telling you guys about. Um, like, kind of like a Converse, okay? Super cute, gray. 
Again, these are brand new. They look a little discolored on the bottom, but that's okay. These are a size... Where's the size? Am I not seeing it apparently? Oh, here we go. Eight and a half. Eight and a half gray. Um, I'll probably do like 45 or 50, probably 45. And we'll do 30 for you guys. All right, one more for this box. And then I'll have to get up and rearrange the boxes. Oh, I didn't say what I spent on those. $10.79. All right, now we have Uggs. Really, these are, these are not new, but not bad. Black leather, perfect for the fall. These are size six, and I paid either $7.79 or $9.59 because there's two that are listed as slip-ons, but I don't know which is which. So either $9.59 $9 or $7.79. Okay, paid. so UGG slip-ons, black leather, size six. I'd probably list them online around 45 or 50 and we'll do 30 for you guys okay that wraps up this box so let me switch out the other one and we'll keep going next oh, let me get the other side I don't see an invoice. All right, we'll just have to wing it. Let's see if I can find these on here. Oh, I actually think it's right here. So let's open up the first box. It's another Kula Burra by Ugg. Brand new sandals in a beautiful corally salmon suede. These are a size eight and a half. And I paid $7.19. Now, all right, let's just look at this for a second. It says that they're in, oh geez, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It says they're in fair condition, okay, fair. They're brand new. That's why you gotta really look at the deep, the description and the pictures. So I spent seven, seven nineteen size eighty five, size eight point five. I'll, <laughs> I'll probably list these around fifty, and do thirty for you guys. Okay, so these are Steve Madden. I paid $9.59. They just need a little cleanup on the rubber here. But look at how cute these are. So cute. Size seven and a half. I'll probably list them for about 40 online, 35, 40, and we'll do 25 for you guys. Then we have Patricia. These I spent $7.79. Oh, these are so cute. These are new. I just think maybe they were tried on. Look at how cute these are. Beige, like a cream suede, perforated. Did I say the size? Size 10. It says nine and a half. But it's a it's a size 40 so I would think 10 but either way they're very cute and I would ask probably 35 online 
and we'll do um, 25 for you guys. New in the box. We have a pair of sandals. Okay, these are the mini Tonka and I spent $4.67 on these. They're a little dusty, don't judge me. There they are, they're black leather. They do need to be cleaned up, but they're in good condition. Um, I'd probably list them around 30 and we'll do like 22 for you guys. Another pair of Mia. So let's see, these, okay, these are the same color, as, I mean the same style as the other ones. I just got them in another size. This is a size eight and they're brand new again. And these were $7.79. So I forget what the price was on the other ones, but um, I would probably do 25 for you guys. Okay, say cellus, say cellies, say cellus. Uh, they're also sold in anthropology. These are a size six and a half. Brand spanking new. Look at how cute these are. Oh my lord. So let's see. <clears throat> so see, these say like new, but they are new. They are new. Maybe they were, no, they weren't even tried on. That's just like an imperfection. Size six and a half, I paid $8.39. These are so cute. Look, the other one is still in the bag. It's still in the wrapper. I'd probably list these around 40 or 45 and do 30 for you guys. So cute. And last but not least, another pair of Ugg. These are a size seven and a half, same style, just a different size. And I paid $7.79. See, it says fair condition again, but they're brand new. So I forget what I said before, but the same um, price stands for these. And these were the seven and a half, and I also got an eight and a half in these. So that, wraps it up. I'm just looking around making sure I did everything. I did. So I hope you guys liked this haul and remember to check out the description box for the link for 40% off and make sure you check the sold list pinned in the comments before you email. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.